Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for, what is it, May 7th, I'm going to say 7th through the 15th. Generally my readings are love readings, so I just call them love readings, okay? This is for the sign of Aries. I want you to take what resonates and leave the rest. I would not be able to read every single person's life. If you guys are looking for a quick answer, you know, if you, and you have an Apple iPhone, you can contact me on Instago. The link is below. If you want something more in depth, the information is below as well. This is for the sign of Aries. We're going to get two oracle cards, one of these and one of these. We will reveal it at the end unless it flips over while I am shuffling. Then you'll get to see it now. Aries. What do we have for the sign of Aries for the second week of May? May 7th through the 15th. What does Aries need to know? does Aries need to know? Holding on to something. Somebody is resisting a change or resisting letting go, okay? Holding on tightly. Clinging. Oh, look at this. Yikes, okay, clinging to something is making them feel empty inside, maybe feeling dead inside. What the hell is this? There could be a feeling of depression. Well, it could be obsession and repression. Obsession, repression. You know, could be. Ah, the Empress reversed. You know, you could... Uh, somebody is lacking self-worth. Not seeing what they're worth. Mm. Fear of sacrifice, fear of losing, fear of breakdown. What the hell is going on here? What am I going to lose if I let go? If I let go, I'm going to lose too much. You know, this is this can be a feel this is this could be selfishness. Somebody's holding on to something that isn't really that doesn't need to be held on to. Okay, just just saying. Something it needs to be let go so that you can start this process of feeling alive again. Something is holding you back mentally. Making you feel empty inside. Lost, perhaps. This is a loss of self. And you're sacrificing needlessly. Fear of loss. Fear of disruption. Fear of disaster. You know, all you have to do is balance, be patient. Maybe you have to make some compromises here. But sometimes compromising isn't all that bad if it relieves stress. So you might have to make some compromises. You know, instead of, uh, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best intentions at heart, okay? You could be. You could be dealing with somebody who's cold and withdrawn and manipulative. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could use emotional blackmail to keep you stuck, you know? They, they use their emotions to keep you stuck. That's, that's blackmail. That's selfish, smothering. They may be just a little bit too much for you. You may be feeling overwhelmed by whoever this person is that is, you know, doesn't have your best intentions at heart. But you're still holding on to them for some reason. Maybe it's financially secure. I don't know what that is. You know, you could be dealing with a Pisces. All right. You could have, you do have a Taurus up there. You have Sagittarius here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. We have Pisces twice. We have Scorpio twice. 
anyway, there is a, you know, there's a lot of confusion and fear about starting a new cycle. The moon brings cycles. This is reverse. I'm not sure if I want to start this new cycle because I have this fear of the unknown. But with the moon reversed, it's like I, 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 I have this fear of the unknown, but deep down I really know that I'm sacrificing myself needlessly to avoid a disaster with this person who is selfish and hard-hearted. You know, this person is probably blocking communication with you. They're not communicating effectively. They're not. And they've probably caused you some financial losses or they're at a financial loss. Whatever this is with this two of pentacles reversed, it's like it's a financial mess. You're dealing with somebody who isn't helping you to save money. You know, they're not, they're selfish and it's not you. Now care what you cross watchers have to say, leave your negative comments out. They will be deleted. I don't want to hear any bashing about any sign underneath my comments. Here, somebody lacks faith, they lack trust. Maybe you went into this situation with blind faith, and it may have been a not the best decision, Aries. There could be a divorce or a breakup on the horizon. There's definitely some blockages here with these two cards. You're dealing with somebody who has blocked emotions and they're making you feel empty inside and they're using emotional blackmail to get their way. And they've caused a financial uproar. And they're doing like this is where the emotional blackmail is coming from. They have done wrong and now you have to deal with it. That's what it looks like to me. And now you're probably holding on tightly to all you have to recover. You're holding on tightly to recover. So I don't know what the hell this is. It's supposed to be a love reading. This is, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with a partner who is totally swindling the money. You have no trick. You, you can't trust them with money as far as you can throw them across the block. Whoever this person is. Oh, this is supposed to be a love reading. It looks like, yeah, the truth has come out. They've gotten caught. You know the truth about this person. You do. And now you're probably thinking about removing yourself from the situation, just freeing yourself. It's like a time of liberation. Whew! The truth is out. We've got that off our chest. Even though it hurts and I have regrets, I have the power to change the direction, you know, I have the power to bring success back to my life. But you may have to not work together with this person anymore. I can't work together with you. There's no togetherness. So it feels like you guys may be using the resources within you to free yourself from a situation where you're not appreciated. This is lack of appreciation. I think the truth has come out with that seven of swords. You've been lied to. You've been cheated. You're dealing with a sneaky individual. And it feels like you've, you're coming to grips with, with the fact that you can't trust them, whatever this is. Yeah, you're thinking about walking away from this person, leaving them. They're distrustful. They're dishonest. Now, when I say this person could be anybody, it, it could be anybody in your life. It could be a boss, it could be a sister, it could be a mother, it could be a partner, you know, whatever. Somebody is using emotional blackmail to get their way and they're swindling money right out of your bank account. And they have no care about what they're doing and they're using a bl emotional blackmail to get what they want. 
And that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. You know, you, you have to take some action. You better get moving. You better get moving because it takes equal equality for a relationship to work. Equal give and take. What you give is what you get. What you get is what you give. Balance is needed. So, it, you know, it feels like right now things are out of whack. Somebody's not giving as much as they should be. And they're using like that blackmail I've been talking to you about. To the emotional blackmail that is so... Um, it's hidden. It's so... You can barely even figure it out. You know what I mean? It's so sneaky. It is. It's so sneaky. Anyway, whatever this is, is they're using that to to get you to give to them. And they're not giving back. Manipulation. Basically, that's what it is. This two of wands, is, is you have two paths. You have to make a decision. Do you stay or do you go? You could make a, sud a, a sudden decision to leave this situation. Because there's too much detachment, there's too much withdrawal, there's too much restlessness, there's lack of contentment here. Whoever you are in a partnership with, it isn't fulfilling. They're not putting in effort. They're not doing their part. And you're probably thinking about leaving, facing your fears, facing it. I think that you have been anticipating this for a while, going to get what you deserve. You've worked hard for what you have, and this person doesn't care. Yeah, you're being criticized and judged by this person. You may feel like they're attacking you. They certainly don't appreciate you. And they're not even focused on the future. They're not focused on the future goals. They're wasting your time. They're wasting your efforts and they're wasting your money. You're dealing with somebody who is doing everything in their power to manipulate, criticize, misjudge, and turn the situation around in their favor. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are coming out of this darkness. You're seeing the truth. You're, you're hearing the truth. You are accepting the truth. Okay? You're no longer going to let yourself be a victim to this selfish individual. I mean, you're dealing with somebody who's very selfish. And I feel like you're not going to let yourself be the victim to it anymore. You're not. You're going to start to believe in yourself again. You're going to walk away from this difficult situation. If that's what it looks like. You're going to go after what you deserve. You know? Somebody is not abundant, whether it's you or the other person. There's no abundance. There's no prosperity. They're not saving money. They're throwing it away. And that's what this reading is about. There's a loss of income here. There's a loss of money here because somebody isn't thinking before they spend. They're not grateful for all that you've done or all that you've put into it. They're just being totally unreasonable. You're dealing with somebody who can't control their spending. And you may be only keeping them in your life right now for because you don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. You might need them for something, but they're not fulfilling you emotionally. They're really not, whoever this person is. They're not. They're using you for the money. They're using you for the finances. That's what I see. We have a mosquito flying back and forth. And I just happened to think about this. Everything during a reading is meant for you. What do mosquitoes do? They bite you. They suck your blood. And then they leave. And that's what's going on here. There's too much unhappiness. 
There's too much discontent and boredom. You may not want to be a part of this anymore. I'm not interested in what you have to offer because I know it's not true. You haven't been receiving the attention or somebody hasn't been giving you the attention. You're looking for more. I feel like you're being used for your money. That's what I got for this week. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction, Aries. Whoever this person is that's using you, Get rid of them. They're holding you back. They're holding you back. From prosperity and abundance. Oh, son of a gun. Oh my God. Whew. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This, you know, like I said, this doesn't have to be a love partner. You know who I'm talking about. Whoever this person is that's using you, you need to get away from them. And the universe is trying to push you in that direction. That's my message, Aries. It couldn't be any clearer, I don't believe. Talk to you later.